All right, we're back for more targeting with Levi. And this is a new skill he needs to learn this month for service dog work. Um, and <laughs> he's going to eventually need to um, close cabinets. So I've got some painter's tape that I've made into a fairly large target in the beginning. He has not tried this at all yet. So here, bye bye. So we're gonna give it a whirl today. Um, Levi. So I'm just going to get him good at touching the target at first. It's just painter's tape, so it'll come off pretty easy. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Levi. Touch. Yeah. I'm being pretty specific. I need him to touch it on the target, not just touch the cabinet anywhere. Because eventually, Levi, touch. That's gonna make a big difference later down the road. Where he touches it could matter. Touch. Good boy. So those low touches, they don't get anything. Touch. Yeah. We want those nice high touches. Touch. <laughs> good boy. Then, once he gets good at this, Levi, touch. We're gonna start to open the cabinet just a little. I'm gonna hold it so it doesn't slam and scare him. Levi, touch. Bye-bye. Oh, it's a mystery in there, isn't it? Touch. Good boy. Touch. I didn't say peek in. I said touch. Bye. Touch. Cabinet, causing him a little bit of trouble. Touch. Ha ha ha, good boy. Right here. Levi, touch. Good boy. Now I'm going to let him close it himself. Levi, touch. Good boy. Levi, touch. No, no, I didn't say open it. Touch. And so if he starts to offer me the incorrect response, which is lie down, leave I sit, then I just don't even let him do it. I just have him hop up again. Um, and he was just touching the, I know I said the word. He was just um, interacting with the blue painter's tape before I asked him to, and so he doesn't get clicked and treated for that. He only gets clicked and treated when I ask him to do it. Touch. Good boy. Let's get it open again. Levi, touch. Precision was a little lost on that. He was touching it down low, which is not what we need, but I clicked him anyway because the difficulty of having it open, for some reason, seems to be pretty hard for him. I guess because he wants to see. Go ahead, take a look. There's nothing in there. Nothing. Touch. <laughs> That'll come later. We'll teach you to open it later. Good boy. Opening comes later. Goodbye. Touch. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't need it open. I need it closed. Touch. Ah, good boy. So we're going to stop there while we're ahead. Later, what I will do is I will remove... Wait a minute. Wait. Leave my sit. Oh. We're going to remove a piece of tape. Here, get it if you want. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. We're going to remove a piece of tape. Make the, uh, make the target smaller and smaller. And then eventually, uh, we're going to remove a second piece of tape. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. What a good boy you are. Um, <laughs> and then we would cut this down to a little tiny itty bitty piece. like that, and then fade that completely too. Go ahead and work that off. You seem to have a good time with that. Go ahead, get it. Can you get it? No, no, you're not gonna do it, turkey. Anyway, that's how we're gonna move um, targeting along. So that's gonna be a more advanced skill because you can see um, 
different than in our other video, he's now touching this without my hand there altogether, and we're gonna slowly but surely take that target down to very small, and um, the targeting is actually gonna serve a purpose rather than just follow my hand or touch my hand or, or do that kind of thing. So for more fast, fun, and easy dog training ideas like this and more, visit smartdoguniversity.com. That's where our blog lives and all the videos reside. Also, um, click on subscribe and um, so you can see our latest videos and leave us a comment below.